Greetings, men, women, and children, and people of all ages. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh. And the 90s gave us a lot of great things. Grunge, skateboarding, hip-hop, to name a few. And the other thing it gave us is baggy pants, which sort of unites all those three things. And Levi specifically had an answer to those baggy pants, and that was the Silver Tab line. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Let's get into it. So the 60s and the 70s and into the 80s gave us lots of bell bottoms, tight jeans, a disco look, and by the late 80s people had simply gotten sick of it. People were tired of seeing hair metal bands in spandex that was as tight as saran wrap. So as all good rebels do, they go 180 degrees the opposite, and baggy jeans became the style of skateboarding, hip hop, and grunge, which were all sort of rebellion against the ballad, hair metal, glam of the 70s and the 80s. Now the 80s were not particularly good to Levi's. Lots of corporate structure changes, ownership back and forth, public, private. Uh, they re tried to restart the 501 with mild success. And so they needed a little bit more modern touch. And as Levi's was prone to do, they saw the trend and they met the trend. And that's where Levi's Silver Tab line comes in. County seat for the full range of silver tab jeans and tops for men and women. The silver tab line started in 1988, the year of my birth, and ran into the early 2000s and then again was revitalized in about 2018. And I suspect that as baggy pants sort of come back around in the trend cycle, you might find that either silver tabs come back as more popular jeans or they just rebrand them under their regular red tab line. So the silver tab line went through a variety of different logo changes and branding changes throughout its life. Um, but here we have a late 80s, so the very early on in this series, uh, silver tab. You can see the logo here. This is the original silver tab logo. You'll also notice that there are no arcuates on the back pockets. Um, this was just sort of in line with the new style they were going with. You can also see that there is actually Velcro to close these pockets. Uh, these jeans right here were largely marketed to skateboarders and that sort of extreme sports. And if you can see some of their ads, it's all about extreme sports. The bigger you think, the bigger you are, the bigger the jeans wherever you are. Yeah, as I would say, the bigger the friend, the bigger the fun, the bigger the mess when you're done. You're living large, yes, you're living large. In the Levi's big jeans, Lord, you're living large. You're living large, yes, you're living large. You'll also notice on this early pair that there are no rivets. Uh, in fact, I do not believe there is a single rivet in this entire jean. And this makes a little bit of sense when you consider who they are marketing to. Uh, skateboarders didn't necessarily want all that heavy metal on them, they wanted more lightweight pants. And using bar tags instead of rivets was one way to get there. You'll also notice that the silver tab line got a different button. Similar but outlined in silver. Silver tab makes sense. And similarly to other jeans of this era, the care tags stayed about the same. Now this would change later on. Now later in the 90s, the inside tags would change and they would add this inside patch. This patch was indicative of what type of jean it was, whether it was loose or relaxed or flared and you had your care tag right here. You'll also notice that the logo is different. This is probably the most well-known and recognized silver tab logo. Also in some of these later models, you can see the arcuate is back and it resembles a little bit more of a traditional Levi. Now later in these more traditional looking Levi's baggy and loose jeans, they also added some other features, particularly in the rivets. Notice these rivets are flat rivets and they say silver tab on them. So silver tabs got their own 
unique looking and very cool I might say looking rivets and they use the rivets similarly to how other jeans in the Levi's brand would have been using them. Obviously one of the main differences with silver tabs is the tab on the back. It's obviously silver. So as the silver tab line evolved their branding also evolved. You can see here this is a later like early 2000s silver tab. You can see the Logo is a much more modern, sleek looking with a triangle. Also, the buttons change to reflect it. Here we have this embossed triangle, which is the silver tab logo. You'll notice the logo kind of makes sense. And in fact, all the wide leg stuff had sort of the triangle as its moniker. Small at the front, wide at the bottom. And if you remember, if you recall the late 90s and the early 2000s, what were you wearing? You were wearing Jinkos. I was wearing Jinkos. We were all wearing Lee Pipes. Anything that you could fit a family of four inside your jeans, that's what was cool. Now there are a lot of models under the Silver Tap line. Perhaps the most notable was the 560, which was the loose fitting jean, which was loose around the thigh and kept that looseness all the way down to the ankle. Now the 560 ended up being made in the red tab line and there were 960s in the orange tab line and that 960 or 560 always sort of represented baggier or wide jeans. Now in addition to the loose fitting jeans, the silver tab line had a bunch of other different styles. They had flare, they had relaxed, among many other varieties. Now with all fashion, it's somewhat cyclical. We just got out of a generation of very, very tight jeans. Perhaps we're going into a generation of very baggy jeans. In that case, I imagine silver tabs will be rediscovered. And I hope if we revisit it, we revisit some of the vintage history of it. Because it's interesting, it's not very well known, and hopefully some of this information helps you understand it better. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this little trip down memory lane. Maybe for trying to forget the 90s, but I'm not. I had a good time. Um, leave in the comments below, did you ever trip over your ultra baggy pants? I sure did. Uh, like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be reminded when we post, since we post lots of content similar to this. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.